there's so much drama going on right now. Ooh, girl, she not ready to have her. What if getting in your feelings could be more than just getting in your feelings? Introducing a new product triggered by Kukia. <laughs> I mean, it literally looked like toilet paper caught in a windstorm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Garbage, newspaper. Oh. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. <laughs> I'm sorry. That only seemed appropriate. Titties! <laughs> Help, I'm over here! <laughs> Things are about to get a little bit crusty. If you are unaware or you do not know who John Cookie is, he has crawled out from his dumpster. Ah! After 10,000 years, I'm free! After Margot Indigo posted her video about him last night, and oh my god, like the irony that comes out of this guy's mouth is just like. I want to start off by saying that I am going to be linking Margot's video and her channel down in the description box below. If you do not know everything up until this point, she has done a great job of documenting John Cookie and the monstrosity that he has become here on YouTube. Just to give you guys a little bit of backstory about my history with John Cookie, and you guys know when I first started YouTube like maybe two and a half years ago, I actually became friendly with John. He was not the type of person that he is now. And eventually I fell out with him over a whole bunch of stuff. There's videos all over YouTube about it. If you guys want to search that, feel free to search John Cookie in and a whole host of videos will come up. But when I tell you that he uploaded this video today reacting to Margo, it was just like cringe city. This guy was a triggered. He was so in his feelings just about everything that this girl had to say. I've never in my life seen somebody talk so much without saying anything. I cannot believe that people People actually buy this stuff like let me not make fun of you right now honey because you don't even know what you're doing or what you're endorsing just let, let me not. For those of you that have followed this mess for this period of time, you know that John is well known for dragging YouTubers and he likes to say that he's not a malicious type of person. However, he is unlike any other drama channel. There are other drama channels that continually make videos about people, but I would say a good 95% of us that react and talk about beauty drama, we are not malicious in the things that we say. We may come off a little bit mean at times, but it's never to the extent that John Cookie has ever ever pushed it. This guy has accused people of being like child predators. This guy has accused people of having STDs. He has literally extorted money from someone, Thomas Halbert, who actually had to pay him to take a video down that he made about him. The receipt is right here. This guy also is well known for his cosmetics causing people to break out and have allergic reactions. Here's a receipt from Nady from Pop Lux where he actually tried his cosmetics and it actually gave him like a horrible horrible reaction. His eyes swell up and he was looking like one of those little squeeze toys that you squeeze and the eyeballs pop out. Like it was bad. John Cookian is also known for throwing shade that is not that good. He likes to call or refer to Petty Page as Peppa because there was a group of people on the internet that actually called Page Peppa Pig or some dumb shit like that. Can you guys tell me what 24 year old carries around a Peppa Pig plush toy? Like that is cringe as a motherfucker. Me and Peppa just looking for somewhere to chill so and here recently he is also known for this situation where he came to America he was supposed to be vacationing here and he stayed with a woman and her husband and they opened their house to him they gave him money they literally supported him paid for plane tickets all kinds of stuff and he went on to try and drag her and her husband on the internet it's very clear and it's a very well-known fact that John Cookie and really 
acts like he despises Jeffree Star, but he would love nothing more than to have his life. I mean, honestly, with the cosmetics that he says he's been working on since like 11 years ago, but honestly, like two years ago, he started this. If it was 11 years ago, he's 24, that would make him 13 years old when he began this and none of us are buying that. This guy has said so much stuff and he says that he has so many accolades for so many different things from being a makeup artist to a brand owner to being a biomedical scientist. There's no degree there, so you're not a biomedical scientist, John. To owning two businesses, to taking care of his family. The list just goes on and on and on with this guy. He's just one of those people that he has done everything and he has said everything and there's nothing that you could do that would possibly top him. Ooh, who would want to top him anyway? Ooh. He's like that annoying bitch that you meet out in public and you say that you've had an experience and they're like, well, oh, well, you climbed Mount Everest? Well, that's cute. Well, I went skydiving from the moon or some dumb shit like that. It's always like one step above with whatever this guy is saying. Like, he is literally the epitome of a tryhard. And again, I have never in my life seen someone that has tried so hard and failed so hard. There are so many different people here on YouTube, on Twitter, Instagram that do not like this guy, that have had personal experiences with this guy, and he always seems to try to make himself the victim, and he always says that people are bullying him, but what about all the people that he has bullied? There has been Facebook groups, there's been videos made about people, there has been videos made about numerous different MUAs, makeup artists, gurus, brands here on YouTube that he has just straight up just either lied or exaggerated the truth to fit a narrative that he's been pushing. The one really interesting thing about this whole video that he never even touched on, he wanted to drag Margo and try to dispute everything up until this point, but the major meat and potatoes of the whole situation was that John Cookian has committed criminal offenses here in the United States, and he did not even so much as try to gloss over that topic because he doesn't want anyone to know about that. He is not allowed here in the United States of America because during his time here, he did some illegal things. He recorded people in their home where it is not legal to do so. He was living with someone that needed a security clearance for him to stay there. My dude, you were quivering your butt cheeks and sending videos of you doing this out to people on someone else's Instagram. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh wow. Oh my God. Disgusting. I don't know if that would qualify as thirst or desperation. At this point, I feel like John is one of the loneliest people in the world. Like the absolute loneliest. Like if you have to build yourself up and present yourself in a certain way to make yourself feel better about a situation that you're in, you're obviously not doing something right. John comes off to me as one of these people that wants to say that he has all of this and he's accomplished all of this, but he don't want to put the work in. Literally anybody could make a makeup brand. Honestly, honest to God, it's not that hard. I've looked it up. There's numerous different things that I've looked into. And if I wanted to make a makeup brand, I could do exactly what he's doing and I could put like that Easter egg grass and some like crystals from Dollar Tree in a box and be like, here you go. John, as much as you want to dress up a turd and as much as you want to cover up the scent of shit in the makeup that you're sending out, you are living in an unrealistic reality because just as many people that stand you, there's twice that that cannot stand you and that see through all of your bullshit that you put here on the internet and the trouble and drama that you try to cause. I feel like this was a last ditch effort to get his name out there to hopefully get his AdSense up because December's coming. You guys know that December is a huge month here on YouTube and I think that this was his way of like trying to stir the pot just a little bit. He likes to say that, oh, I could sue this person. And I could sue this person, but there's two problems with that. One, you're not allowed here in the United States. I would welcome you to come here, John. If you would love to come here and you would like to do whatever it is that you want to do in a civil court to sue any one of us that have ever made a video about you, please, I'm begging you, please come to the United States and do that because we will absolutely have customs agents here to just take you where you need to go, and that is a slammer. Titties! <laughs> Help, I'm over here! <laughs> 
second problem with this is you have to have actual money to sue someone and as far as I'm concerned your views on YouTube are not doing that well you're not making the money that you actually used to make here on this platform and as you guys just seen there is just one video of somebody reviewing his cosmetic the time of John Cookie and in his reign here on this platform and him degrading and just trying to just destroy people is over people are tired of people like John trying to destroy and defame people you can do drama and whatever and be like not malicious in the way you do it but you guys I know this video is kind of like Ugh. but I just wanted to get my two cents out there and just say John Cookie and just give it up dude like let it go just like go your own way like it's over it's over. There's no point in fighting it at this point. But you guys, let me know what you think about this down below. And please, please, please go watch Marco Indigo's video or her videos if you have not seen them because they are so well done. And basically, John Cookie doesn't want you to see them. So you guys, let me know what you think about all this down below. And I will see you on my next video. Bye, guys.